Hey everyone, it's James. And Stephanie, and we're here to review the 2025 Winnebago Revel. Just stop. I, I can't do it anymore. What? Can't do what? Well, these RV reviews, we've been doing them for 10 years now, and we always do them kind of the same way. We need to do something different, something that'll stand out, something, I don't know. What do you mean, like film it in black and white? Well, maybe, but that wouldn't be very interesting. Yeah. What about a filming it in IMAX? That'd be cool. You brought me a camera, and uh -huh. I am on my way. Those are like half a million dollars, so yeah. no. Yeah. I know. What if we did it like a musical? A musical? I'm here to tell you all about the 2025 Revel. It leads the class in matters recreational and vehicle. With all-wheel drive and KO2s off-road, it is quite capable. It has a rolling screen door that the bugs find inescapable. A sturdy ladder on the back that makes the roof accessible. And lighting present on the rack will make the dark addressable. With ample space beneath the bed, your gear will find relatable. So here we go. Like mountain bikes and downhill skis and paddle boards inflatable. Mountain bikes and downhill skis and paddle boards inflatable. And climbing gear, a case of beer and German Shepherd's gradable. A racing car to work a bird and mill is cultivate debatable. That's debatable. A standard spare is underneath to make a flat repairable. The sprinter cab is spacious if you're tall, it isn't terrible. In short, regarding matters recreational and vehicle, there is no better class B than the 2025 Revel. In short, regarding matters recreational and vehicle, there is no better class B than the 2025 Revel. There's up to 15,000 watt hours of lithionics batteries, a second alternator which will charge them as fast as you please, an EcoFlow inverter charger solar with MPPT, a panel on the wall is there to keep track of your energy, the cantilever table in the dinette is rotatable, the second row of seating both are clients and is translatable, the bed can stop at any height which makes it quite cool honestly. Just drop it all the way. And blackout shades around the van will take care of your modesty. Blackout shades around the van will take care of your modesty. Insulating blackout shades for when you want some privacy. Or an open screen across the back for when you've got a gotta see. We kept the shower surround the same. The latches on the cabinets will rattle, they're compressible. The framing is aluminum, you'll find it indistressible. In short, regarding matters recreational and vehicle, there is no better class B than the 2025 Revolt. In short, regarding matters recreational and vehicle, there is no better class B than the 2025 Revolt. The heating is provided by a timber line hydronically with loops to heat the cabin and the water independently. A third output will keep the tanks from freezing automatically. Upgraded insulation keeps the heat inside dramatically. The access panels in the van are easily removable. The mounting tracks aplenty make it very much improvable. The water tank is large at 35 gallons. It is a plus. There's the water tank right there. There's lots of other features, but we're out of lyrics to discuss. Lots of other features that we're out of lyrics to discuss, like power folding mirrors and these custom rooms are fabulous. And under 20 feet in length, you'll find it's nothing, nothing like a bus. We expect them to get dirty. They're made by Winnebago in a plant in northern Iowa. The others try to imitate and copy, they keep trying, but it's still a champ in matters recreational and vehicle. There is no better class B than the 2025 Revolt. In short, regarding matters recreational and vehicle, there is no better class B than the 2025 Revolt. I'm, I'm going to say that sounds like a whole lot of work. Yeah, so are we good to just go with our normal way fine, of doing it? Fine, fine. Well, let's just, you? here we go. Okay. All right. So starting off down the passenger's side, we first come to these, uh, 